Hi everyone, it's Primrose from my small space indoor garden and today I have these beautiful plants to share with you. Uh, the beautiful chlorophytum, otherwise known as the spider plant. Um, so my father-in-law gave this to me only yesterday and I have uh, three of them. And I also have uh, one big one up there. Uh, it's about a year old and also from my father-in-law. And um, I apologize that I, um, I could not bring it down uh, to show it to you because um, it's quite heavy and my husband is not home. It started off as a small plant like this one here. Spider plant is the kind of plant that just um, nev never stop giving. There are a number of species of this plant and, and during my trips to different garden centers I have seen a spider plants that has um, shorter leaves and I have seen um, one that has a uh, green color in the center and I think mine has this um, white or cream color uh, and there's one that is completely uh, green so but all produce spikes with uh, clumps of plantlets that you could later on propagate like this one I have here I wanted to talk about proper care of this plant and when it comes to light though um, this plant is known to thrive in a low light condition um, my experience in growing this plant is if provided um, bright light this plant can grow fast and the um, variegation of leaves are more sharp and um, healthy looking but on a low light condition it's the complete opposite um, so watering I do not have a fixed schedule what I do is I give the plant enough water to make the soil moist but not soggy and then I allow the top uh, half inch of soil to dry out between waterings my experience of growing this plant is severe drying out and overwatering um, almost have the same effect. Uh, let me just show you here. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, here it is. It can result to um, burn leaf or a permanent um, browning of the leaf tips so feeding um, I use a liquid um, low nutrient fertilizer uh, once a month and this is what I have been using in all of my plants except for my orchids NPK of this um, particular fertilizer is 10.6 and um, 1.9 and 1.4 I might I might change this uh, to a higher nutrient um, content fertilizer later on but at this time I feel like it is not necessary for me because I only started growing plants some three years ago the compost actually have plant food um, mix in it that is good for six months so I feel like at this point um, my plants will be okay with a low nutrient uh, fertilizer. Propagation 
um, spider plants can be easily propagated by cutting plantlets off the long stems when their leaves are about three inches long. So I have that here. The single stem and uh, eventually it will produce uh, clumps of uh, several plantlets in just one stem. I'm sorry, it's too high, can't reach it. So it's easy to um, make this plant root uh, by placing it into a jar of water and then into the soil based potting mixture when roots are at least an inch long. So um, that's, that's all I have to share today and I hope you enjoy this video. And thank you for watching. Happy gardening.